Hi everyone! Today we are going to learn potentiometer. So what is a potentiometer? Potentiometer is actually based on concept of potential divider. Here we have a big battery, V, and two resistor. Okay, let's put it like this. This big battery, let's say, is a 100 volt resistor R1, 30 ohm. Resistor R2 is 70 ohm. What do you think will be the value of V1? Yes, of course, this will be 30 volt and this will be 70 volt. So it's like this. The, the smaller the resistance, the smaller the voltage. The higher the resistance, the higher the voltage. We can put into a ratio form. Uh, V1 is, uh, sorry, R1 is 30 ohm. And uh, the total resistance, yeah, you see, the total resistance is 30 plus 70, which is uh, 100 ohm. Uh, a ratio of 30 over 100. So the ratio of voltage is uh, V1 is 30 volts and V total is 100 volts. You see, it becomes a ratio. And of course, this one, R2 is 70 ohm over the total resistance, 100 ohm. And V2 is uh, 70 volt over V total is 100 volt. A ratio. So, the concept here is uh, V1 is uh, the smallest voltage, stands for the smallest resistance, and R2 is a bigger resistance, uh, so that's why it has a bigger voltage, and the total resistance uh, is the total voltage, the biggest voltage. If in terms of length, we also can put it like, uh, let's say this is 100 volt, and this is 30 cm, this is uh, 70 cm. So the same thing here, V1 will be also 30 volt, and V2 is also uh, 70 volt. Okay, so the smaller the length, the shorter the length, the smaller the voltage. The higher, the, the longer the length, the higher the voltage. And we also can put, put into the ratio form. Okay, so what is actually potentiometer? Potentiometer is a device that can be used to measure the unknown EMF. Unknown EMF. Okay. So this is the structure of potentiometer. Okay. So maybe I should write something here. It has a big battery, okay, big battery at the top, and it has a small battery at the bottom. Okay, and the small battery is the unknown voltage. Uh, here in the middle, it has a resistant wire. This wire is a special wire that it has resistance along the wire. Okay. And uh, voltage AC, voltage AC, okay, maybe I label here, voltage AC, and this is uh, the long one is voltage AB, yes. Voltage AC stands for or equal to the smaller voltage, EX. And the longer wire, uh, VAB, voltage AB, uh, will be equal to the bigger EMF. Okay? As uh, we learned before, the smaller, smaller voltage constitutes for the smaller voltage. The bigger voltage constitutes for the bigger EMF, bigger battery. Okay? And we can make into ratio form. The length AC over length AB, length AB will be equal to V voltage AC over voltage AB. 
and VAC is EX, so we can substitute EX. VAB equal to EMFE, we can substitute E. Ah, so here we can get a formula. Next. What if uh, we put an uh, external resistor uh, with the big battery? Okay, as you, as you see here, here there is no external resistor. Now we add a external resistor in series with the big battery. What will happen? Okay, so in this case, here at the top circuit, you can apply Ohm's law. Uh, actually, at the top circuit, here there is a current flows. Okay. There's a current flows. Yeah. This current is provided by the big battery. And it flows through the top circuit. And this current flows through the resistor R. Okay, it just flow at the top circuit. At the bottom here, uh, there's no current. Yeah, this gauge meter is is balanced. Yeah, is a uh, gauge meter shows zero current, meaning that at the bottom bottom here there is no current at all. No current. The current only flows at the top circuit. The current cannot flow down. The reason why the current cannot flow down because VAC is equal to EX. They, they, they are at the same voltage. VAC and EX is the same voltage. So the current cannot flow down. It only flows at the top circuit. Okay? Uh, so here we can build several equations. For the top, we can build the Ohm's law equation. Okay? EMF will be equal to the current, current times resistor R plus resistor AB. Don't forget, AB is also a resistance. Yeah, a resistant wire. And this resistant RAB is in series with resistor R. Uh, that's why we plus together. Okay, uh, so this AB resistor is series with R. So just plus. E equal to I, R plus RAB. Okay, and then as usual, VAC constitute for EX. EX. And VAB, uh, now VAB is not EMF because we have external resistor here. Uh, so VAB is equal to the current I, current I that passes through resistor AB multiplied by the resistor AB as itself. So VAB equal to I times RAB, okay? I RAB. Uh, so, and then of course the ratio formula LAC over LAB, oh, LAB will be equal to VAC over VAB. Okay, so VAC you can substitute EX here and VAB you can substitute IRAB here. The third function of the bed of the potentiometer is it can compare to the EMF of two different battery. Now I have uh, two battery here, E1 and E2. Uh, E1 constitute for L1 and E2 constitute for L2. And it seems that L1 is shorter. So um, L1 seems to be shorter than L2. So L1 is shorter, so we can say E1 also smaller battery. L2 is longer, so E2 is also a bigger battery. Uh, and we can make put into a ratio form. So E1 over E2 is equal to L1 over L2. Potential meter also can measure the internal resistance of a battery. Uh, for, for example, uh, this one we have two cases. Okay, and these are the formulas that we can build for this case. VAB, VAB of course is the bigger battery, constitute for the bigger battery, VAB is equal to EMF, E, 
and then we have two case here switch s means the switch below here okay if this switch s is open vac equal to e1 emf1 okay uh, why because if switch s is open If switch S is open, then here there is uh, no current flow uh, in the bottom circuit, no current flow. So uh, that uh, so IR is equal to zero. Uh, there's no potential drop across the internal resistance. So the VAC is equal to the EMF one alone. Uh, it's only e equal to EMF. 1 okay vac equal to e, e1 yeah because ir is 0 huh? uh, no need to minus ir however if you switch s is closed then vac is equal to e1 minus vr uh, why because now if you close a switch if you close a switch then uh, there is current flows at the bottom circuit. Uh, we'll put this as uh, I, I2. Eh? Uh, so there is a current flow at the bottom circuit. This I2 passes R, the R, and also passes the small r. So here you have I, you have I R. IR is not sorry, IR is not zero. You have IR here. Uh, so that's why uh, that when there's current passing through the internal resistance, then there's potential drop across the internal resistance. So VAC, VAC is no longer equal to E1, but E1 minus V small r. Because got potential drop across internal resistance. Still remember the lesson of terminal voltage we learned before? Yeah, it's about the terminal voltage. Okay, E1 minus Vr, V small r. Okay, and also Vac also equal to Vr, the V big R. Okay, what I want to say is Vac here this this here is actually parallel to this point ah this is v v r so v a c is also v r the bottom one okay and what is v r v r is i2 this i2 is provided by e1 okay V, VR, V big R is actually I2 times R. Uh, okay, so VAC is equal to VR. Okay, and the bottom here, we uh, can build another equation, Ohm's law equation at the bottom. Yeah? E1 equal to I2 times big R plus small r. Now, we can build a uh, Ohm's law equation below here. Yeah? Uh, and after that, the ratio formula as usual, LAC over LAB equal to VAC over VAB. Uh, so these two cases, the difference is only the VAC. So uh, v, if the switch is open, then VAC is only the EMF because EMF1 because no potential drop across internal resistance. Okay, IR0. But if the switch S is closed, then it is EMF minus EMF minus uh, V small r. Yeah, got potential drop across internal resistance. Okay, At, or you can just say VAC is equal to V R V big R. 